Hello, I'm Brian Connor. We're going to have a look at a piece John and Kathleen played for the Ireland-Germany match, the Aviva, the Fields of Athen Rye. Uh, and we'll mostly just look at the famous chorus of this song. But if we can have a look at the music, there's something here that we, I think we haven't seen before. In the verse, now they didn't play very much in the verse, and that's because when they looked at the page, they found this. And what that means is when you have the empty bar, the thick black line and the number nine, it means you're not doing anything for the nine bars. That's nine bars rest. So you just count your way through that. Uh, now they didn't play the tune in this, it was the clarinets who played the tune, but they do have this lovely rhythmic piano part that we'll have a look at for the chorus. I'll play you the part and I'll play you a little bit of the tune in afterwards just so as you see how it all fits together. But it's this terrific, it's an unusual rhythm. And it's a terrific part from Fiacre. It's like this. So that's how the chorus goes in the piano part. If you imagine how the tune sits on top, I'll just uh, play a little bit in so you hear it. It would be this. So that's how it all fits together. There's one thing in this that we might actually just take a moment to look at, and that's the fingering that's taking place in the, in the left hand. There are times when it can be very useful to change the finger on a note even as you're playing it. And now that maybe doesn't make a lot of sense, but just look at what happens when we come to this bar here. And it starts on a fifth finger, very conventional fingering. We end on the first finger on the D. The logical thing is to use second finger on the C, so we do. But once we've played it, we swap it to the first finger. And that very smoothly allows us to walk down. We'll just watch that once more. So it starts with fifth finger on the F. That's a very natural fingering. But here, we just gently make the change. And you understand that if we didn't make the change, if we just played down that line from the second finger, uh, now we're in trouble because we've run out of finger for the F. So that's just something that's worth bearing in mind. It's fine to substitute a new finger once you've played a note. It can be very useful to do that. So that's the Fields of Athenry. I hope you enjoy that.